हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर फोर्टीन लेक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन टू एंड दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट वाई सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर आर नॉट सेल्फ स्टार्टेड एंड एक्सप्लेन डबल फील्ड रिवॉल्विंग थियोरी फॉर सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर योर जी टी वी एग्जाम मेनी टाइम्स दिस क्वेश्चन आस्क इन जी टी वी एग्जाम सो प्रिपेयर दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर योर एग्जाम as well as for uh, how induction motor is a uh, single phase induction motor is not not a self start motor okay and why three phase induction motor is self start okay so uh, first of all why a uh, single phase induction motors are not self started single phase induction motor has a single phase distributor winding in a stator and a squirrel gauge rotor okay same lies like as a three phase but in three phase we have a three phase distributed winding okay in stator and we have a same squirrel cage rotor just like the single phase induction motor uh, when single phase supply is applied to a single phase stator winding an alternating or we can say pulsating flux is produced in a stator okay alternating flux varied in with space uh, with a single axis only and it's not a constant magnitude synchronizing or uh, revolving flux as in case of two or a three phase stator winding uh, we have a, th a two or a th uh, three phase supply okay so this is a alternating not a rotating one okay now alternating or a pulsating flux acting as a stationary stationary squirrel gauge rotor cannot produce rotation due to rotor inertia okay so uh, here we don't have any uh, revolving flux so we cannot produce uh, rmf okay and due to this uh, uh, absence of rmf uh, this squirrel cage single phase motor is a not a self start okay uh, so this is the reason why induction motor is not self start uh, and this reason is uh, in single phase induction motor we have a alternating pulsating flux but not a rotating magnetic flux okay now uh, what is double field revolving theory a uh, statement an alternating uniaxial quantity can be represented by two oppositely rotating vectors of uh, half magnitude so an alternating sinusoidal flux can be represented by two revolving fluxes each equal to half the value of alternating flux and each rotating synchronize synchronizedly in opposite direction okay so now uh, we have uh, cut this uh, or we can uh, say we divide this uh, flux total flux phi into two component and uh, magnitude of those component are half uh, half of the magnitude uh, of total magnitude okay phi, phi if total is phi m then we have a two uh, vector phi m by 2 phi m by 2 and both are oppositely rotated means one is in anti clockwise and another one is in clockwise direction okay so uh, we mark all the position from 0 to 90 degree 180 degree then uh, 270 and uh, 360 degree okay so now uh, what it does what uh, why we study this double field revolving theory okay so further after some time time when a and b would have rotated through a angle plus theta and minus theta we have a flux resultant flux phi r is equal to 2 times phi m by 2 into cos 2 theta by 2 so we have a resultant phi m into cos theta after quarter half cycle rotation flux is a and b will be oppositely oh, oppositely directed and so we have a resultant flux zero because both are in opposite direction so they are cancel each other okay then another half cycle after the another half cycle flux is a and b will have a resultant phi r is equal to minus because uh, uh, now we have a, in a minus direction so minus 2 into phi m by 2 so resultant we get the minus phi m so uh, you can see uh, this value of this flux is a not a constant okay in three phase induction motor we have a constant magnitude flux okay so uh, if you not uh, know uh, what is the magnitude and this rmf rotating magnetic flux then check out the video uh, in three phase induction motor uh, about the uh, rmf okay so you will get the idea what i am talking about 
and this uh, minus y uh, so here we have a changing flux okay so flux is not a constant it is a sinusoidal flux okay so uh, due to this sinusoidal we have alternating flux but we don't have a rotating flux okay so uh, that is why an alternating flux can be looked upon as a composed of a two re uh, revolving fluxes each of half the value and revolving synchronously in a opposite direction it been noted that uh, if the slip of the rotor is a s uh, with respect to forward rotating flux uh, which rotates in the same direction as the rotor then its slip with respect to backward rotating flux is a 2 minus s okay so we have a two slips one slip is a s and another one is a 2 minus s and uh, this 2 minus s uh, is uh, for what backward rotating flux okay uh, each of two component fluxes while ro uh, revolving around the stator cuts the rotor definitely uh, just like the three phase induction motor this revolving flux is cut by the rotor induces an emf okay so emf induces steel but this produce in a oven torque okay obviously two torques okay here we have a two torque because we have a forward and backward torques uh, are oppositely directed both are in opposite direction so net or resultant torque will be the zero or we can say resultant torque is a difference between them but if we take the difference then ultimately it will be zero okay so th this is the reason why single phase induction motor is not self start motor okay so this is the more most important reason and how we can explain this uh, not self start is this this is the double field revolving theory so why uh, we studied the double field revolving theory to explain why single phase induction motor is not self start so you can also see the uh, uh, torque diagram we have a forward torque diagram here okay and uh, at the bottom we have a backward torque diagram and this is the resultant of both the torque okay so when we have a slip or we have a slip e is equal to 1 okay so um, when uh, we have a slip is equal to 1 when motor is stopped at that time we have a slip is equal to 1 okay so at 1 we have a no resultant torque but if we give some initial rotation to the motor then uh, motor will start rotating in, in the same direction okay so for that uh, read this last two line hence the tf and T tb are numerically equal but being oppositely directed produce a no resultant torque that explain why there is a no starting torque in a single phase induction motor okay however if the rotor is started somehow means if we give the initial rotation to the rotor uh, in any a direction if we give the clockwise direction then what happened the clockwise torque start increasing and at the same time then anti clockwise torque will start decreasing hence there is a certain amount of net torque in a clockwise direction and then a uh, motor starts to accelerate in the same direction and what is the direction clockwise direction if we give the initial rotation in a clockwise direction then we got the acceleration of motor in a clockwise direction if we give in anti clockwise then we get the anti clockwise direction so this is the reason and this is the theory why induction motor is a not a self starting motor okay so if you have any query uh, related to induction motor why induction motor is not self started and what is the uh, what this uh, theory uh, or if you have any doubt about the mathematical calculation here okay so you can comment uh, your questions in the comment box so that i can answer your question and uh, and also uh, 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 comment your enrollment number in comment box so that it will be counted as your attendance okay online attendance thank you